Let's begin with option one. This is for those folks just getting started. For them, we recommend purchasing bullion, and I mean actual physical gold and silver that you store locally. Now, the primary reason for buying precious metals is Armageddon insurance. To own a form of money that will still have purchasing power should our paper-based currency suddenly become valueless. And don't think that can happen in modern society? Well, just talk to somebody in Venezuela or Argentina today. They'd gladly trade you millions of bolivars or thousands of pesos for a single gold coin. This is why many believe it's wise to have a stash or a stack in precious metals parlance of gold and silver in physical form that you can quickly get a hold of in your hot little hands should a currency crisis arise. Now, physical gold and silver is referred to as bullion and its most common form factors are coins and bars. Now, when buying gold bullion for your emergency stack, most experts recommend restricting your purchases to one ounce sovereign coins. These are coins currently minted each year by select governments around the world, most notably the Eagle and the Buffalo in the US, the Maple Leaf in Canada, the Krugerrand in South Africa, the Philharmonic in Austria, the Panda in China, the Kangaroo in Australia, and the Sovereign, which is from the United Kingdom. Now you want to stick to these well-recognized sovereign coins because they have a low premium to the spot price of gold. So you're buying your gold at a good value versus most other options. Now, I just introduced a term there, the spot price of gold. Here's why that's important. The futures market sets the price of an ounce of gold, called the spot price, at any given minute of the trading day. Now, because it takes cost and effort to convert a lump of gold into a specific shape and then ship it to a dealer, the mints tack on an extra fee when they sell their products to precious metals dealers. And these dealers, in turn, add their own markup before selling it to you. The total price above the spot value that you pay at the store is referred to as the premium. So, your goal is to try to buy your gold for the lowest premium per ounce. And that's why experts recommend sticking to the one ounce sovereign coins. In today's uncertain financial climate, gold and silver are more than just shiny metals. They're your pathway to financial security. Whether you're just starting your investment journey or looking to diversify, this guide will walk you through everything you need to know about investing in gold and silver. From why these metals are your best bet to how much you should buy, we've got you covered. Plus, we'll introduce you to Augusta Precious Metals a trusted company that sells gold, silver, and more. Their services can help ensure that your assets remain secure through these precious metals. Let's begin with why physical gold and silver should be at your list. As you just saw in the clip, physical gold and silver offer unmatched security, especially during economic downturns. Unlike paper assets, these metals hold intrinsic value that has stood the test of time. For beginners, Starting with physical gold and silver provides a solid foundation for a secure investment portfolio. So why publish this video now? As I mentioned at the start, I was at a conference recently where precious metals were a key topic. At that conference, all the speakers underscored the fact that the Fed is in a trap of its own making. Having increased the currency supply by nearly 10 times since 2008, first through QE1, then QE2, then three, and then the massive stimulus response to the COVID pandemic. The Fed can now neither raise interest rates nor reduce its balance sheet without killing the economy and the financial markets. From here on out, it looks like it's gonna be ever more easy credit and ever more stimulus until the economy collapses under the weight of too much debt. On that kind of trajectory, the purchasing power of the US dollar looks like it's only going to decline faster and faster. The best hope for the average investor is to own tangible assets that can't be inflated away. Gold and silver are the easiest way for the average investor to do this. But to benefit from the purchasing power protection of precious metals, you have to be positioned in them in advance of the coming fiat currency devaluation. So if you're not well positioned already today, make it a near term priority to become so. All right, folks, if you've enjoyed this explainer video on how to purchase precious metals to support us in making more of these. Timing is everything in investing. And as this clip highlighted, now is an opportune moment to get into gold and silver. With economic indicators pointing towards instability, precious metals offer a hedge against inflation and currency devaluation.
Augusta Precious Metals makes it easier for you to start investing in gold and silver right now, ensuring that you're ahead of the curve and securing your financial future before the masses catch on. What's the best way to buy gold and silver? Turns out, most people aren't aware of the full spectrum of options available and in which situations each option makes sense to consider. So to correct that, I'm going to provide a concise breakdown on how to build exposure to the precious metals, all the way from physical coins and bars to mining stocks. And to save you from taking notes, I've summarized everything I'll talk about here in a free report that you can download. It's available at wealthion.com slash how to buy. And I'll remind you of that URL at the end of this video. So if you've been thinking about converting some of your paper fiat currency into precious metals, but have been unsure how to proceed, then this explainer video is for you. But before continuing further, let me make something absolutely clear. This is not personal financial advice. This material is for educational purposes only as an aid for you to discuss these options more intelligently with your professional financial advisor before taking any action. Buying gold and silver doesn't have to be complicated. As we just learned, there are various ways to purchase these metals, from bullion to coins. For beginners, it's crucial to understand the different forms of gold and silver, as well as where to buy them. Augusta Precious Metals is a trusted company where you can purchase authentic precious metals, providing you with peace of mind and a reliable foundation for your investment journey. Now, how much gold and silver should you buy for your emergency stack? I get that question an awful lot. You know, this is one of those uniquely personal decisions that a general video like this can't give you like a specific dollar amount for. So the right answer is consult with your professional financial advisor to determine the amount that best suits your risk tolerance and goals. But I'll say that time and experience has proven that an effective rule of thumb is whatever amount lets you sleep well at night. You should buy enough that you no longer worry about not having a plan B in place should a currency crisis suddenly hit. But don't buy so much that you're going to worry about getting robbed or that you'll panic every time the gold price drops in the market. And it's going to often as gold is very volatile and silver even more so. So for most people, you know, they're going to buy somewhere between a couple hundred dollars, maybe a few thousand dollars worth, maybe up to about five figures of dollars uh, worth of bullion to store at home. Just remember, though, that 99.9% .9 of U.S. households own less than one ounce of gold, if any. So if we suddenly reverted to using gold and silver as currency again, if you only have a few ounces of gold and a little more than that of silver, you're still going to have way more than most other people. All right, well, once you've bought your emergency stack, where should you keep it? Deciding how much gold and silver to buy can be tricky, especially for beginners. As the clip explained, it's important to consider your overall financial goals and risk tolerance. A general rule of thumb is to allocate a portion of your investment portfolio, typically around 5 to 20 percent, to precious metals. With Augusta Precious Metals, you can easily purchase the right amount of gold and silver to fit your investment strategy, ensuring that your portfolio is diversified and protected. Here we go. This is very important. The first rule of owning bullion is to convince the world that you don't own any. So don't tell anyone about it. Greed and crisis do weird things to people. So don't make yourself a target unnecessarily by revealing your holdings or where you've stashed them. Except maybe perhaps to your spouse or key family members whom you trust. You know, you don't want your gold disappearing forever if you suddenly passed away unexpectedly. The point of having an emergency stack is to be able to get your hands on it quickly should you need to. So some people put it in a home safe, some in a bank safety deposit box nearby, some hide it in the walls or buried outside. There are pros and cons to each, and you'll need to decide for yourself which is the best option for your unique situation. The main risks to holding precious metals on your own property, though, are personal safety and loss. So if you decide to keep bullion in your home, in a safe or elsewhere nearby, the smart thing to do is to tell no one. The fewer people who suspect you have any gold, the lower your risk of robbery. And as for loss, many insurance companies won't cover more than a small sum if your bullion is lost due to theft or disaster. So be sure you've reviewed your homeowner's policy to know what your limits are. Okay, holding your metal in a bank reduces the theft and loss risk, but it also introduces other complications. Storing your gold and silver securely is just as important as buying it. This clip offered valuable insights on different storage options, 
From home safes to secure vaults, the safety of your investment should never be overlooked. Where you store your gold and silver directly impacts its protection and your peace of mind. Augusta Precious Metals also provides guidance on secure storage solutions, helping you keep your precious metals safe and accessible whenever you need them. Where does gold and silver come from? Well, mining companies dig them out of the ground. So when the price of the precious metals rises, so do the prices of the companies that mine them. But the mining shares generally rise or fall much more than the price of the underlying metal. Why is that? That's because the miner is still sitting on ore in the ground. So as the price of, say, gold goes up, not only is the gold the miner is selling today more valuable, but all of the ounces it will dig up in the future just became more valuable too. So in this way, shares of stock in gold mining companies are said to be a leveraged play on the price of gold itself. Investors who think that gold is undervalued right now and positioned for a sharp bounce can buy shares of gold mining companies and expect to ride a much bigger wave higher versus just owning bullion if their prediction indeed comes true. But there's no guarantee of that. Mining shares also introduce company risk. And I got to tell you, many of these companies in the past have been run quite poorly. So it's absolutely critical to understand that mining companies are extremely risky. Investing in gold and silver mining shares can be an attractive option, but as this clip highlighted, they come with higher volatility compared to physical metals. For beginners, it's essential to understand that while mining shares can offer higher returns, they also carry more risk. We've covered everything you need to start investing in gold and silver, from understanding why these metals are crucial for your financial security, to knowing how much to buy and where to store it safely. As you build your investment portfolio, Remember that gold and silver are not just assets, they are safeguards against economic instability. With the help of Augusta Precious Metals, you can easily integrate these precious metals into your investment strategy, ensuring your wealth remains secure in 2024 and beyond. Take control of your financial future and invest wisely in these timeless metals. For more information about Augusta Precious Metals, click the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.